Order the following carbocations, from most stable to least stable. First look at the differences between the carbocations. In structure number one, we can see that the carbocation is beside a bromine atom. The lone pair of electrons on the halogen can be delocalized, and this puts a positive charge on the bromine atom. You may be thinking that a positive charge on an electronegative atom would be destabilizing. However, in most cases, resonance with the halogen has a greater influence than inductive effects, and in fact, out of these two resonance structures, the resonance structure with the positive charge on the bromine is the most stable because every atom has a full octet. Structure number two is a secondary carbocation and is stabilized through inductive effects, the donation of electron density through the adjacent sigma bonds, or hyperconjugation. For structure number three, the carbocation is adjacent to sp3 carbons Thus, resonance with the bromine atom cannot occur. What effect does the bromine atom have on the stability of the carbocation? We know that the bromine is more electronegative than carbon. Put partial charges on the atoms. Notice that a partial positive charge is adjacent to the carbocation. This is a destabilizing electrostatic interaction, making the very reactive carbocation even more unstable. The most stable carbocation is structure 1 because the charge is delocalized through resonance, followed by the secondary carbocation, structure 2. The least stable carbocation is structure 3 because of the destabilizing effect of the adjacent partial positive charge next to the carbocation.